Hello art people and welcome to Jules Art. Today I'm going to be drawing a watercolor sunflower. It'll be mixed media so there's going to be some ink pen, watercolor, colored pencils, and a little bit of a white gel pen. I started out by doing a light sketch of just a normal sunflower. When I'm doing a sketch of something I always like to have a reference photo or a some kind of reference. In this case I'm using a picture on my phone of just a normal sunflower in a position that I liked and I like to use that just so that I can have some a little guidance with the proportions and the placement of petals and how many and elements of the flower that maybe I would have forgotten had I just been going from my memory. I then use my kneadable eraser and I dab off all of the pencil, leave just a very light, light, light sketch of the sunflower. So then after that, I get my paints. I'm using just a normal watercolor. Start painting in the petals. It's a nice bright yellow. I'm doing just one layer wash. It's working wet watercolor paint on a dry piece of paper. I felt inspired by this because it's almost springtime here in Alaska and I started doing some gardening and I planted a bunch of sunflower seeds and I was really excited because they're the mammoth sunflower seeds. They're supposed to get really, really tall. Apparently I'm not the greatest gardener because I didn't plant them deep enough so they sprouted really fast and got about three or four inches tall and then they all fell over and snapped. So this is going to be probably the most successful sunflower I have of this season and I'd love to share it with you. I would love to see anyone's artwork that they do that's inspired by this or following the same line of style. Send them to me in my email and I'd love to display them on my next video or just take a look at them. And here I am laying down a second layer of more saturated paint. It's a darker yellow because it's the petals that are underneath the first layer or the first petals. And these ones I'm making darker because they're in a little bit of a shadow. I always like to pay attention to the lighting, or at least I try to pay attention. It's something I'm working on. We're going to get better with paying attention to the shadowing and, and lighting of where the sun hits things. And these petals that are underneath the first petals are going to be a little darker because they're not hitting the full light. And they're adding just a little bit more depth. That way it looks a little more real. Sometimes I find that when I'm drawing, things don't look quite as real as I expected them to because I'm, I'm drawing and I'm painting what I think should be there and not what actually is there. So oftentimes shadows fall in some weird places, but if you don't have those shadows there, things don't look real. So here I'm adding some definition, adding definition with the petals. And here I'm adding the stem and the leaves, nice deep green. And I'm gonna be adding a couple different layers of green just to get it right. And here I'm adding the dark brown to the middle of the sunflower. And here I'm adding just even another layer of brown paint onto the center of the flower and I use a little bit of that brown to give more highlights to, to the flower. And I also use that opportunity to give the petals a little more highlight and also work on the leaves. And this paintbrush that I'm using is a Paul Rubens squirrel hair synthetic paintbrush. So it's a combination of both synthetic and squirrel hair. It really helps it soak up a lot of water so that I don't have to keep adding more and more water to get the effect that I want to.
And here I'm adding some colored pencil details, just redoing a lot of the areas that I was painting with a little bit more detail, with some darker and bringing up more depth to the picture. And here it is, almost done. You can see all of the pencil details and how vibrant and bright the color is as I turn the page. And I have to say, I apologize for the sheer amount of camera angle changing. This is a new setup for us. Um, I have, I actually kind of have to laugh because I put my phone as I was recording this drawing into a cup of colored pencils so sometimes the camera is moving because I'm taking pencils that are actually holding my phone up while I'm recording a video out of the bin so we have now a camera tripod set up so that won't be happening and we'll have even lighting and the camera will not be changing in the video and this last step with the sunflower if what I what I've done is adding pen details and I'm using a fine liner marker it's kind of like a brush nib and I'm just giving some light lines just to give it a little bit more of a cartoony, fun, stylistic look. It's not so realistic, but it's not obviously clip art. I just love the look of pen lines. Lines are my favorite. And as we're nearing the end of this, I use a little bit of white gel pen just to give a couple little blips on the top of the flower to make it look like it's got some rain or shine kind of hitting it. These are some pictures that a friend of mine sent me after her kids watched the first video I did on the fox. And these are the pictures that Caleb, Zeb, Ava, Cherish, and Laura painted and colored. And I think they all just did such a great job. Obviously they're doing really well with drawing foxes and painting and I just love seeing what people send me so please take pictures and send me what you come up with and if you have any requests for art I would love to hear what you guys would love to see like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and let me know what you'd like me to draw if there's any recommendations just comment I look forward to making more videos for artists of all ages